Got to get the right drift down to this trout. It is a big palomino. I got him. Holy smokes. Giant. Oh my gosh. Stay on. Giant Palomino. What is cracking you fishing, Jamox? Used to PA fishing here. Today we are heading to a DH Creek that we stocked just two days ago with fresh trout. So we're gonna head there today and hopefully catch ourselves a whole bunch of trout. It should be a good episode. I hope you guys all like the content. If at any point in time you do, please scroll down below, hit that thumbs up button. Also subscribe to the Eastern PA Fishing YouTube channel if you have not already. Eastern PA Fishing here, you know what it is by now. Let's get right to the fishing. We made it to the creek where we're gonna be fishing today. Hopefully gonna to pull a whole bunch of trout out of here. There are quite a few people fishing already, as you guys can see. So we're gonna to have to head downstream to find a little water that is untouched. I know last year they threw some buckets in this spot. Let's hope there's some here. So due to the fact that this is a delayed harvest creek, you cannot take any of the fish from this water and you are only permitted to fish with artificial lures. There we go. First one of the day, right in front of us. Nice trout too. Well, that didn't take long. This is one of the few places around here you can catch stock trout before opening day. These delayed harvest creeks are unaffected by the creek shutdown. Hook pops right out I'm using barbless hooks today. And there he goes. Happy, healthy, and off to live another day. We are off to a good start. Let's see if we can get another. Just jigging this little worm along so innocently. Oh, we got one coming in looking. And he shied off. Got this one. Number two for the day, we can land them. Another brownie. Always wet your hands when you're catching and releasing. I don't have a net today. We'll be on keeping these fish out of the water long. There we go. Always make sure you're not squeezing the fish. Once again, that barbless hook pops right out. Another beautiful stock trout. Two in the bag so far. How many more can we catch from this one hole? Oh, we got another one coming in. Oh, he snatched it. He had it for a second. This is a nice little hole we have ourselves. No one's bothering us, no one's around. You can see the fish right in front of us. It's supposed to be going up to about 70 degrees today, but it is only about 10 o'clock in the morning. It is still pretty cold out here, shivering a little bit. I think these fish are starting to know what's up. There's some really good spots upstream, but they're just absolutely packed. But there's some more good holes down here that are definitely stocked with some fresh trout. And we are definitely going to catch them, so stay tuned. Another little hole. This one isn't really too promising. We're going to see if anything's here. Well, we did have one follow, but I have a feeling it is just a random rogue trout. So let's keep moving. Kind of a random hole here. Let's see if anything's hanging out. Yep, there was. And there we go. Just like that, we got another. Got a rainbow this time. Adding a little variety to the bag. And there is another. And he's off. We have numbers and we have a variety of species. Not sure if that's number three or four. Let's call it number three. Let's see if we can get another. There we go. There's another. Ah, I lost him. Well, that would have been number four. Getting some good action here today. Ah, oh, had him. These fish are starting to look a little beat. Well, it wasn't filming on that one. There's another, and he's off. That was number four. Just grabbed him out of this little rip right here. These fish are a little spanked. This hole has a lot of trout in it. These fish are scared as heck right now. At least the sun's coming out. It's a beautiful thing. Making my way 
to some more spots. Hopefully we're gonna be able to get a little privacy on the creek. This place is absolutely packed for a weekday. Well, while I'm on my way to the next spot, we might as well talk about something that is happening this year. This year, there may or may not be a stock at the Wissahickon Creek. It's gonna have a very big impact on the season. Wissahickon Creek is one of my favorite creeks to fish for trout, and I know a lot of you guys like to fish there as well. With that possibly not being an option this year, a lot of anglers are gonna be wondering where they can go to trout fish. You can always hop online, go to the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat website, and find a spot near you to fish. Anyway, huge bummer for the season so far, but it is still early. That might change. Hopefully they figure out what the deal is. I think there was some type of invasive species that got into the pool that was designated to stock the Wissahickon with, and also the Perkiome, and I believe that creek was affected as well. Anyway, let's get back to fishing. Well, the one little follow we had from that spot earlier did not come back. Let's go back up to the first hole where we caught some fish. From there, we should be able to see whether or not those upstream holes that we're trying to hit are packed or not. Oh, I had one. Get back in there. There it is, got this one. Another little brownie, another beautiful little stock trout. Beautiful little stretch of the creek, man. Some cool little holes. Sneak up a little further into the rapids. Ooh, there is a big palomino tucked in under there. I wonder if I could get him to come out. Gotta get the right drift down to this trout. That is a big palomino. I got him. Holy smokes. Giant. Oh my gosh. Stay on. Giant palomino. Oh yeah, baby. Starting the season out right. There we go. Oh my gosh, what a pig. Gotta get him over here. I can't believe he came out and got that. Oh my gosh, yes, yes. Holy smokes, there we go. Right on the lip, starting the year out right. Look at that dude right there. Holy smokes, nice Palomino from this DH Creek. There we go. get this beautiful fish back and he is off yes dude nice freaking trout that is the only palomino I've seen here all day I can't believe I just got him on this little soft plastic worm he's still chilling there getting his wits to him but he's just fine holy smokes that was awesome oh my gosh I can't believe it what a fish. Well, after that big mama, I'm gonna retie. We're gonna get back out there. Well, you guys probably can't see him, but our little Palomino buddy is still swimming out there happy and healthy. I don't know if you guys know how sick that catch was. I mean, look at this spot right here. It's that overhang right there. I stood just upstream of it, cast my line over there, and then I pulled it off of the rock on the other side and let it drift right in front of him and he just slammed it, absolutely slammed it. Somehow I catch one of those fish every year and with everything that's going on at the Wissahickon this year, I honestly didn't know if it was gonna happen, but guess we can knock that off the list for the year, catch a Palomino. Golly, that was fun. Let's see what else we can get. Well, moving on from the Palomino spot, I don't know how the rest of this video can even possibly compare with that catch, but we're gonna keep fishing because why not, right? So it would seem that that stretch of the creek is just dominated by old people. So we are heading way downstream to probably the last spot of the day. One where I know there should definitely be some trout and hopefully nobody there fishing for them. Back to another hole that we've already fished today, but back to catch some more fish.
Got that one. There is another. A couple of jamokes back there casting out a palomino. Maybe they'll be gone by the time I come back. Oh boy. Definitely forgot how long of a walk it was down to this last spot. Fingers crossed that there's no one there because there's not really anything in between. Always looking for some privacy on the creek. None of the holes that I'm walking by now are stocked. The last hole here is the downstream limits of this creek for stocking. So if we don't catch anything there, we're gonna have to go back upstream. Maybe try a few more of those holes. Been out here for about two, two and a half hours now. Starting to get a little hungry for lunch. And it almost looks like they didn't stock this hole. Well, it seems like walking all the way up here was a complete waste of time. I don't see a damn thing. And I guess that's it. Let's head back upstream. Kind of pissed off we came all the way down here for nothing. Well, everybody, the GoPro isn't dead yet, and I would like to continue fishing a little, but this creek is just absolutely packed. All the good holes have someone fishing in them, and it's hard to find some real estate around here. Anyway, I had myself an absolutely amazing day of 2023 trout fishing before opening day. Caught myself at least five or six trout including one gigantic palomino it's always on my list to catch one of those every single year and we did it already before the official opening day of trout season anyway these little dh creeks are an awesome opportunity to get out there and catch some fish before opening day so if you can be sure to find one near you get out there and catch yourself some trout anyway i hope you guys all like the episode of any point in time did please scroll down below hit that thumbs up button also subscribe to the eastern pa fishing youtube channel if you have not already eastern pa fishing here you know what it is by now until next time guys stay safe Stay tuned and always stay fishy.